Hello everybody, welcome to Transy Learning Chemistry videos. Today we'll be discussing about preparation of primary amines and in this video we'll be covering different methods of preparation of aliphatic and aromatic amines. So let's see what methods we'll be covering in this video. In this video first of all we'll discuss about primary amines and then we will discuss how to prepare primary amines by the reduction of nitro compounds and by reduction of nitriles. So let's start. First of all, what are primary amines? The aromatic compounds in which nitrogen atom is attached to only one alkyl or aryl group. You can see here that this nitrogen atom wearing the lone pair of electrons is attached only to one alkyl group or in this case if you see it is attached to only one aryl group. So these kind of amines are known as primary amines. So you can see here that uh, this nitrogen atom is attached to only one alkyl group that is methyl. So the name of this primary aliphatic amine will be methyl amine. And uh, here the nitrogen atom is attached to the aromatic ring. So the name of this aromatic amine is aniline. Aniline is also known by two other names that is aminobenzene or phenylamine. So now you know what are primary amines let us start with their preparation. So first of all using nitro compounds. In this method the reduction of the nitro groups takes place using hydrogen platinum or hydrogen platinum in presence of ethanol. We call this method as catalytic hydrogenation or using iron and hydrochloric acid or tin or hydrochloric acid by chemical means. So the important thing is to understand that uh, in this reaction the reduction of the nitro groups takes place. So first of all what is meant by reduction? Reduction is considered as the addition of the hydrogen atom or the removal of oxygen atom. So in this case uh, also there is removal of the oxygen atom and the addition of the hydrogen atom taking place. Please remember that I'm just telling you the tricks to uh, form the products using the reactant and the reagents given. To watch and understand the full mechanism you have to watch the other video. In this video I'll be just telling you the tricks to uh, form the product using the reactant and the reagents. So you can uh, see here that we are adding hydrogen to the uh, nitroalkane. Then there is replacement of oxygen atom by hydrogen atom and we get alkane amine either using hydrogen platinum combination in presence of ethanol or tin and hydrochloric acid or iron or hydrochloric acid. You can see here whether we take uh, nitroalkane which is an aliphatic uh, nitro compound or nitrobenzene which is an aromatic nitro compound. In both the cases the alkyl or the aryl group uh, remains intact only there is replacement of the oxygen atom by the hydrogen atom. So this is quite an easy method to convert nitro compounds into amines. Here I have discussed two methods of converting nitro compounds into a means that is using catalytic hydrogenation and chemical means. So which one is a better method? Which one we should prefer while converting nitro compounds into uh, amines? So the better method is using iron and hydrochloric acid. Why? What is the reason? The reason is iron plus hydrochloric acid gives you iron chloride. This iron chloride gets hydrolyzed to release hydrochloric acid during the reaction. Thus in this case only small amount of hydrochloric acid is required to initiate the reaction so that means the reagent use is quite less and we are getting a good output because as such the hydrochloric acid produced within the reaction is used in the reaction. So uh, using iron and hydrochloric acid is a better way of converting the nitro compounds into amines. Now let us practice two examples. Converting nitrobenzene into aniline. So first of all we will write the reactant that is nitrobenzene and then we will write the product. We need to convert it into 
aniline, which is NH2. So in this case, the replacement of the oxygen atom by the hydrogen atom is taking place. So that means the reduction of the nitro compound is taking place. And we can do this using hydrogen and platinum in the presence of ethanol or hydrogen and platinum in the presence of ethanol or tin plus hydrochloric acid or iron plus hydrochloric acid. This is the best method of converting nitrobenzene into aniline. Next, nitromethane into methaneamine. Nitromethane is CH3NO2 and the methaneamine is CH3NH2. Again, the alkyl or the aromatic group remains intact. Only the replacement of their oxygen atom by the hydrogen atom takes place. That means the reduction of the nitro compounds takes place. So we can do this using hydrogen and platinum or hydrogen and platinum in the presence of ethanol or tin plus hydrochloric acid or iron plus hydrochloric acid. So this is how we can convert aliphatic and aromatic nitro compounds into aliphatic and aromatic amines. So this is the end of first video of part one. Thank you very much for second video of part one and many other more videos. You can visit our website, transelearning.com. Have a great day.